personal trainer promoting himself in this video, Dijon Danger Miller, dangled the prospect of becoming a fitness model as a way to North Hollywood Park, which is one of the locations where authorities say Dijon Danger Miller. You Good evening from North Hollywood Park, which is one of the locations where authorities say Dijon Danger Miller used to train his clients. But authorities say it wasn't all about the training. They allege that Miller used his business as a way to meet women and then after establishing a relationship would abuse and even torture them. It's North Hollywood. Seems everybody wants to be fit or become a star or both. Warning. Dangerous cursing. Authorities allege the personal trainer promoting himself in this video, Dijon Danger Miller, dangled the prospect of becoming a fitness model as a way of luring young women into personal relationships that in some cases became physically abusive. There was extreme physical abuse and there were some techniques that he utilized that we would consider um, as being torture. LAPD Detective Brandy Azarte is lead investigator on a case in which Miller is charged with attempted murder. Miller was on probation from an earlier domestic violence conviction when he was arrested last December at the North Hollywood townhouse where he lived with his mother. I've seen him go through a couple different girlfriends. But neighbor Mike Jett said he never heard or saw Miller do anything inappropriate. Never seen him angry. Apart from posting videos on YouTube, Miller has two websites, E2Fit and Sexy is Back, and also advertised on Craigslist. It appears the training and workouts he offered were done mostly at North Hollywood Park and other public parks. A lot of the uh, women mentioned that they did Google him and the follow then the websites popped up so he looked like he was a legitimate personal trainer. So how do you find a personal trainer? Do your research. Piano instructor Eliza Chabanyan found her trainer through a business connection and then met for workouts at a well-established gym at One Fitness. Co-owner Robin Hart always recommends getting referrals. Talk to some of the people that they've trained. And serial dating of clients would be an obvious red flag. Uh, if you're professional, you have to know how to separate between uh, the business part and uh, your personnel. With bail set at $1.3 million, Dijon Danger Miller remains in jail awaiting trial. Police say they're speaking out now about Dijon Danger Miller four months after his arrest because their investigation has led them to conclude that there may be other victims and they want to encourage them to come forward and contact North Hollywood detectives. Miller has entered a not guilty plea. In North Hollywood Park, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.